we're doing something a little bit different than usual today. I've got 30 miles to go before the next uh, stretch with water. Apparently there's water cache 16 miles out, but you shouldn't rely on water caches. So I'm gonna do this all at night and we're off. The plan, the stretch goal is to attempt to get all 34 miles from here to Bernie in one go. That's pretty ambitious. That's seven miles more than the longest day I've ever had. And I think more realistically, you might grab 30 and then camp right near the hitch to Bernie and then do the last four in the morning. I jettisoned an enormous amount of food. So I'm only carrying snacks, no dinners. I got rid of a block of cheese. because so I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat that. And I dumped my olive oil and hot sauce because I won't be using any of that. And it was just quite a bit of weight to just haul to the next town. So I'll buy some more when I arrive. In terms of uh, water carry, I have 16 miles to the cache. So to get me there, I have two bottles of Gatorade totaling about a liter and three quarters. And uh, with the sun going down and the temperature cooling, that should be enough really to do the 16. I also hydrated heavily before I left, both on my carnation breakfasts. It's so good, so good. And uh, some extra Gatorade. So. I think I'm in pretty good shape. The pack feels extremely light. In fact, I don't even have the hip belt uh, attached right now. It's allowing my hips to move more and that feels really nice. So start off, go real slow for the first hour or so, get the legs moving again, and then start increasing the speed and see how the night goes. I'm optimistic, but I'm no turtle. Well. Here is some wildlife I did not expect to encounter. Cams. I hate cams. Oh, George, not the livestock. Move cows. Bait it. I will turn you into a hamburger. It's very hard to make mileage progress when every 15 minutes the lighting changes and makes the valley more beautiful than before. I'm forced to stop and take some video and photos. So much for making good time. She was right outside my tent meowing. I unzipped the mesh and she just crawled right in and jumped onto my stomach. Got all the pets. All the pets. Got our uh, Bernie resupply. Yeah, let's see what's inside of it. Ooh, look at those. Ugly shoes. Insoles. <laughs> God, these are so ugly. So this is all the food that showed up in my box. This is four days worth of meals. I've now portioned it out. And then I've taken out the things that I don't think I'm going to eat. I've packaged the snack food and breakfasts in gallon Ziploc bags. And I've taken out the dinners because those will go into the big food bags separately. Uh, day one, I'm going to hike. So that's going to go in the side pocket of the backpack. And that'll come out. And then this will all go in the food bag. My food bag is an OP sack, an odor-proof sack inside of uh, a bear-resistant ursac. And uh, the way that I pack that is I take the last night of dinner. This is tough with only one hand. Coordination's hard. In hand, I get my last dinner in at the bottom, totally flat. And then I grab the snacks for that day. So now I've got dinner, snack, and then we're gonna repeat this process with dinner and snack, dinner and snack. And then that way, as I dig through the bag, each day I'm gonna get the next item that I need, either a snack bag or a dinner bag. So the uh, 
food bag is totally loaded. The only thing missing is some string cheese, which I'm gonna go to the Rite Aid over there and pick up. That's why I'm packing my food right in front of uh, the drugstore and the McDonald's, which is where I got a little bit of mid-morning snack. Guten Tag, dear internet. It is a large pizza again. Yeah, coming to you from the trail with the backpack. So today has not been so great. I got a late start. Um, this is after my two zeros required to wait around for a post office to open. Yeah, I just got out of Bernie, having a rough day. I've only made five miles, it's 5 p.m. And I'm headed to uh, Mount Shasta. I have four days of food and um, 89 miles to get there, 84 from here. Yeah, it's starting to rain. I hear thunder. All right, so it is in fact raining and kind of thunderstorming because um, there's thunder, but there's no lightning. If that can even be a thing. Um, yeah, so I really don't know what to do. Uh, being super cautious would mean seeking some shelter in low ground, which there really isn't any. Um, but uh, I'm also tempted to just go because I'm getting cold and I'm wet, even with a rain jacket on. So, I don't, yeah, I don't know. May I live to record another video, Dear Baby Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the phone away. Oh, there's the lightning. 1,000, 2, 1,000. toilet and hide in the cement block building. I hope I live that long. Bye. So I made it back to the bathroom, which gives me at least a dry roof over my head, if not a little bit of protection from the lightning. I have not been rained on during my hike yet, other than a sprinkle around a horseshoe meadow. But um, it's cold and wet. And I'm not going to hike until it eases up a little bit because I don't want to get hit by lightning. Lightning is the number one cause of death on the PCD. The rain seems to be dying down, so I think that might be my cue to start hiking again. So I made it to Bernie Falls because the uh, rain has let up and it's now actually pretty decent hiking. I've been having a crummy day, as you know. I've only hiked about five and a half miles. But at the Bernie Falls store, I found something that will make me feel a little bit better about my life. This moment of trail euphoria brought to you by Fat Tire. Drink Fat Tire beer, you will be happy. On the next episode. All right, let me explain to you how hiker hunger works. Yeah, I'm tired. My feet hurt. I'm really getting sick of walking. Oh, I got 1,200 more miles to do, so better figure out a way to suck it up and, and cope, but... Oh, it's been a while since I've seen you, my old friend. You may notice something missing from my equipment. If you said the backpack, you would be right. <laughs>